of my favorite tinted sunscreens. I want to say the majority of these are, most of them are mineral sunscreens, so uh, just so they don't have a white cast. So anyway, wear a sunscreen every day because the other day uh, at my dad's house, I went over there for dinner. I'd exercised in the morning, so when I got to dad's house, I washed my face because I didn't like that sweaty feeling. And he had never seen me recently without either sunscreen or foundation on. He was just shocked to see all the hyperpigmentation he just never realized it was there. So wear sunscreen every day and prevent that. I, you can see it on my forehead anyway. It's getting, it's probably the best it's ever been, but it's still there. It's, once it's there, it's very difficult to get rid of. So prevent it from ever happening and don't do what I did when I was younger. So anyway, my favorite tinted sunscreens. I'm going to start off with this one because it's super affordable. It's pretty darn available and it comes in uh, a couple different tints. That's the Australian Gold. Uh, botanical mineral sunscreen. This one uses titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. I just started this one because it seems to work well for a lot of people. It's pretty darn affordable and it's available in a lot of different places. Uh, got a really nice tint. So I think this is the light version, but they have a couple different versions of it. So there we go. Really nice, non-greasy feeling. Sets to a matte finish. Works well under foundation as well. Well worth checking out. Okay, next up we've got the HelioCare uh, Mineral Tolerance Sunscreen. This one contains their Polypodium Leucotomus, which is actually an amazing antioxidant that protects your skin against UV damage. Really does a great job, works even better with uh, sunscreen, or you can take the HelioCare pill or the generic version. Let's see if I can give you a little, a little tint of it. There we go. There it is at the bottom. So really nice liquid texture and no fragrance in it. Helio Care's other sunscreens all have fragrance in it except this one. So this is the one I really like from them. Next up, the Elta MD UV Clear. Elta MD has quite a bit of tinted options. This is their tinted version of their UV Clear sunscreen, which is amazing for acne prone, sensitive skin types. Let's see if I can give you a little... Hang on, there we go. There we go. So these are really nice. I I really wanted to mention the La Roche Posay with their UV Mune, but the tinted version of it is so orange, so I just don't recommend it at this point because if you're fair at all, it ends up looking, you end up look like uh, Oompa Loompa or what's the <laughs> orange candy person? Oompa Loompa, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, next up we've got the Versed. This is their sunscreen, very affordable as well. Really wonderful tint, uh, SPF 35 in it. Also, uh, wonderful, no fragrance in it. Oh, this one's a little greasy, but there you go. So there's another tint, so that is right there. All of these are looking really nice and uh, pretty, pretty workable for most skin tones. So there we go. Next up, I've got a couple from Australia down under. The land down under. The land down, how do you say it? Like, do you come from a land down? Okay, I won't even do it. I like to sing. <laughs> Naked Sundays is their Collagen Glow 100% Mineral Sunscreen, 22% Zinc Oxide. I'll give you a little swatch. It's a little thick, but I really do like it. Once it uh, sets on your skin, it works really well under foundation. Although, to be 100% honest, when I use this one, I typically don't use any foundation because it really spreads evenly and gives you a little bit of a glow where I feel like I don't need uh, foundation over it. Uh, no fragrance in this one, so there we go. Actually, I think all of these are fragrance-free. It will really surprise me if any of these have fragrance in it because I typically don't wear them with fragrance. Okay, next up, Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Sunscreen. This brand has quite a few sunscreens. This is a second take on their last version, but I think the formula is identical. So anyway, this one's got a pretty universal tint to it. I'm running out of space on my arm. There we go. Although I will say from all my videos, my left hand has aged so much better than my right hand. I, you can't really tell now, but... I don't know if it's because I do most of the swatches on my right hand, but or on my left hand, but it just looks much better anyway. Okay, next up, uh, Paula's Choice. They have a lot, this brand has a lot of nice mineral sunscreens, some nice chemical sunscreens as well. This one seems to work well for a lot of people, but I will say the majority of these sunscreens are like, if it's a really hot day, really high UV index, I'm going to be outside all day, I'm probably going to go with something chemical because it just typically does a better job. So anyway. Oh, hang on. I gotta shake this baby up. It's been a little bit of time since I used this one, so hang on. Let me give it a good shake. See if that does anything. Okay. There we go. So it's right there. All these are nice and beige and yeah, anyway. 
Okay, next up we've got the Ultrasound Face Fluid Tinted Version. Ultrasun is a great brand. They have a lot of amazing sunscreens that last pretty long. Uh, great, They have some great ones that are good for like long days outside too. And this brand, for some reason, I just forget about. I don't know why. I just do, but I didn't today. So let me give this one a good shake. There we go. That one's a little darker than the rest. So my, I did find this one to be a little bit deeper, but anyway. So there we go. It's that one right there. Ultra Sun. I'll link to that below. Next up, Dermatology Tinted Sunscreen. Uh, this is actually chemical. It's chemical and mineral. It's a combo. So here we go. We're totally running out of space, but there we go. Right there. Look at all those different colors. It's interesting how... How the shades kind of vary. It's almost like an artwork. I should sell that. Or is that a thing where you can do like a NFT or something and you make a picture with it and sell it? Can I do that with this? Sure. Okay, next up, Kinship. This one isn't super tinted, but it does have a light tint to it. 22%, 22.4% zinc oxide mineral sunscreen. Uh, this is my favorite, the original version, although they came out with a uh, rose version. I just prefer the original version because for the fragrance, it uses vanilla, which is actually good for your skin as opposed to other fragrances. So there it is. I'm going to make a, like an artwork of this. Anyway, okay, next up, super expensive. I still like it, though, so I still have to mention it. The Tatcha Silk Sunscreen, their newer sunscreen, they just came out with 10% zinc oxide. And uh, it has a really nice tint to it, liquid texture. There we go. Very peachy. Anyway, so I do like it. It's expensive. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I really do like it. So it's worth a try if you don't mind spending a little bit of money. So, okay, next up, Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. This is their second product. Uh, this one, 10% zinc oxide, 5.5% titanium dioxide. There we go. I needed to give that one a better shake too, but whatever. Anyway, so this one's really nice. Elta MD pretty much... All their sunscreens have been a hit except for one, and I just don't remember which one that was. But I reviewed it, and I didn't like it. Okay, next up, Niode Survival 30. This one, it has a, like a light, light tint to it. At first, the first few times I used this, I found it greasy. But after that, I've actually really grown to love it. So, okay, let me find a good spot. Let me make sure it's open. Oh, I closed it, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Okay, I got a couple more. Uh, actually, this one just came recently from The Land Down Under. From uh, Elias sent me these. Uh, and I've had a chance to try a few of them. This one I've really liked. Wonderful tinted sunscreen. Let me find another spot. There we go. Look at all those different colors. I'm just having so much fun with this. It's ridiculous. And then we've got the BB Day Defense SPF 30 uh, non-nano zinc oxide. It's got a, more of a yellow tint to it, which is kind of interesting. But uh, anyway, but it ends up looking really brightening on the skin. So there we go. Very yellow. So mm. anyway, these are my favorite tinted sunscreens. And a backup, uh, the Derm Store Mineral Sunscreen is also a decent one. Just wanted to mention that as well. So anyway, also pretty affordable. So anyway, these are all... Ones I love, love, love. Tend to use more in the winter, but anyway, got a lot from the land down under. Anyway, so leave a comment with your favorite. <laughs> sorry. I'm such a dork. I'm sorry. I know. I'm a dork. That's okay. Dogs love me. <laughs> anyway, leave a comment with your favorite tinted sunscreen, and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.